The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, December 2nd. How about that? The December 2nd, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. Looks like we've got a snowstorm kicking in all over the place. So we're going to take a look at that the blizzard that's going on inside of the uh, equity markets out here. Thanks so much for joining me. Look, this next hour, it's really all about you. I'm here to serve you, so feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, that'd be great. Inside the Tiger's Den, like Coda just did, any ping will do. So hope everybody had a great uh, Thanksgiving uh, holiday. It was nice to have several days off out here, but uh, glad to be back with you. And uh, so let's go ahead and get this show uh, started. Right now, we've got the uh, Dow trading up 217 points. That's down about three quarters of a percent. The same is said about the S&P 500, although it's 24 points to the downside. NASDAQ 100 off a little over more than 1%, 96 points. Russell is off 14. Semis are down 21. NASDAQ 100 off 85. So plenty to look at there. Now, the spot volatility index, this is as of 107, obviously, in the afternoon. It's up by over 10%. So we know to if we do see a close, a one-day rate of change greater than 10%, you're going to anticipate some type of bounce or bottom. We'll talk about that and take a look at where those levels might be during the show. Gold is off three bucks. Silver off 11 pennies. Light sweet crude is up 69 cents. Natural gas up a nickel. And bonds are off by more than a point. So let's go ahead and begin by first let me uh, get my screen here sharing so that we can all take a look at the uh, charts together out there. And uh, let's just start by taking a look at the markets. Let's do there's enough uh, there's enough that's going on in the markets. So let's start here and then I'll go ahead and get to the requests out there. So we take a look at the markets. What do we want to take a look at? One of those requests. For Jay, even though Jay didn't ask, I just know just through um, through mental telepathy that he was asking, hey, are there any new profiles out there? And voila, there are some new profiles that are trying to form as we speak right now. They have evolved during the day. They've changed a bit during the day out here, Jay. But as of 108 in the afternoon, here's what we know. We know that the ES Mini is trying to form a new bullish structure daily profile. And the bottom of that profile right now is 3097. I can't guarantee you that 3097 or this entire profile will stick throughout the uh, day. We'll have more information tomorrow on this. I'm using my advanced Doppler tools out here to generate these new profiles. So they are subject to change out here. But right now, let's use the information that we have. It's good information. Uh, 3097 is the next key level of support for the ES Mini as we speak right now. Inside the NQ, it's 8253. The bottom of that box, 8253, and a bit of change out there. Now, inside the Dow, that is the panel number three. It's both trying to form a new daily and weekly profile out there. Now, the weekly, well below where price is trading, but price is also below the bottom of that daily profile. I'm not sure what to make of it just yet. Um, I, I take it for what it is, which is we've got right now what appears to be a, a move or a close below, perhaps a close below the bottom of that daily profile. That was bullish in structure, too. We like to say there's nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern, although when I take a look at profile, it's not so much pattern uh, as much as it is helping us to identify support and resistance. Now, in the case of the Russell 2000, it, too, is trading below the bottom of its profile, 1613 out there. So let's take a look at the Dow. Why do these profile levels matter to you? And so at the end of the day, you're going to be watching this 27,961. Or, you know, if you're a newsletter subscriber, we'll, we'll have more information this evening when I send out the evening update and certainly in the morning with regard to profiles. But let's just assume that these profiles do take hold out here. And let's begin by taking a look at the Dow. Now, in this chart here, the only levels that I'm showing are the bottom of the profiles, because that's really what you and I are interested in as we speak right now. And the way that these 
will work. The way, you know, you hear people uh, buy the dip. Where do you buy the dip out here? Well, profiles are one level where you can do that. Certainly, Stevie's red, green line, the oscillator and change line, that's not on this chart out here. So, Steve, well, let's just stick to the profiles. Now, we're just taking a look at the bottom of the boxes out here. Now, this is just coming back. Uh, since uh, if we take a look at just going back to December of last year out here. So if we take a look at the bottoms of these boxes, you'll see that the uh, first test of a pullback into the bottom of a box was on February 8th, 2019. You see how price tested and rejected that level, continued moving higher. We didn't have any changes in uh, changes in trend out here until we began seeing a close below the bottom of profile. Well, inside of the uh, YM out here, that took place between May 2nd and May 7th out there. That just turned into an A to B equals CD pattern or close to it out there that's led to the yellow uh, for about a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks back into June the uh, 3rd out here. The next time we saw a change in profile was this little conglomeration of closes between the uh, middle of July and then finally got uh, move in July 31st to the downside with a close below the bottom of that box out there. Price then ended up finding support at the bottom of a profile back here August 26, where it was really the test of that level, and then price moved off. Uh, we saw another close below the bottom of the YM chart on October the uh, second out here. So just to, you know, you get just using this as a frame of reference that there could be a change in trend. That this is more than just a one day or one hit wonder. Now we've got to go beyond that. Uh, one of those places to go beyond that would be taking a look at the uh, perigee lunar phase out here. So we take a look at, and I've shared this with uh, folks before in the past out here. We take a look at the ES mini, the NQ. All, we've got four panels. It's a 30 minute time frame chart folks uh, for for each of the equity futures contracts out here and you're going to see two perigee lines the reason you see two i believe it was not this past saturday but it was a saturday before when perigee came in it came in over the weekend it came in when the markets were closed if the markets were open i would have used the exact when i say exact i mean exact to the minute close of uh, wherever price was trading when perigee comes in. Well, when it's in the uh, over a weekend and the markets aren't trading, I never know, you never know, anyone never knows really whether it should be the open of the Sunday session or the close of the Friday session, and therefore you've got the, um, you've got two different lines out here. Now, <clears throat> For many of you, you'd, you'd think I'm just simply nuts. Well, most of you think I'm nuts anyways, and, but that's a good thing. If we take a look at the, I mean, how does this work? I know how it works, but how does this work? The ES Mini gets all the way down to that 31 uh, 12 level. Granted, it was a couple of ticks below that, but I really use the body of the candle. That is truly the essence of price for Stevie out here. And look at how price got down there and it held. I, I've got a, I, I'm certain that uh, John and the Tigers Den must have taken some action as price was getting down to that perigee pivot point. The NQ did the same thing. It got right down to 8283, where it found support. Now, the Dow, it is weaker of the uh, of the of these three indices out here uh, and prices trading below that level and then take a look at the Russell 2000 it's above both either the open of not this past um, Friday uh, but the prior Friday or even the Sunday open right now as a 114 in the afternoon what Stevie can report to you is you got the ES Mini and NQ testing support but close it below 3112 and 8283. Oh, that could signal blizzard conditions. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's off 205, S&P 22. So in that first segment, we took a look at really the TAS market profiles. Notice that the uh, Dow and the Russell 2000 both uh, trading below the bottom of those profiles. So watch that at the end of the day. The other thing that I'm watching out here is the 240-minute uh, chart. Now, you might say, why 240-minute chart? I'm going to switch from the Dow. We'll take a quick peek at the ES Mini. If we take a look at our market breadth up here, that's going to be our right hand, upper right-hand corner out here. You're going to see that both the 60 and the 240 um, have had bearish crossovers. You can see that their dials are in the red. You can see that when we take a look at the uh, daily and the weekly time frame for the S&P 500, uh, they're still in a bullish uh, control, so to speak, a bullish crossover market breadth out there, meaning more more instruments are trading above the top of the profile versus trading below the profile. That's not the same. We take a look at the four-hour time frame chart out here. So let's go take a look at the four-hour time frame itself using the equity futures and use some of Stevie's tools out here to see what it's doing. And one of the things you're going to notice is you're going to take a look at these, or you should take a look at these uh, red uh, horizontal lines out there. You might ask yourself, I'd ask myself, what the Sam Heck, are those, Steve? Oh, those represent the breakout levels out here. These breakout levels are defined by that TD setup nine count. I want you to think of the breakout as if you're going to begin a race. You're going to just, you know, they're the different races out here. You've got the 100-yard dash. You've got the 400-yard dash. Is there such a thing as a 400-yard dash? Got to be. We just said so. Uh, you've got the marathons out here. But when we get the uh, nine consecutive bars, in this case here, where the close of each bar is above, the close of the bar four bars early, what it does is that that nine count uh, gives us that uh, breakout level. And so what we can see here is the breakout level. So we have our, for support or resistance, we have our TAS profile levels. Well, the bottom of the 240-minute chart support for TAS was 3140, so that failed. Price then should, when it fails one level of support, should go to the next level of support for that time frame. That time frame in this case here would be 3116 or the 240 minute time frame chart. You can see that price is trading just above that. So we've got price trading above 
the uh, perigee pivot point. We've got price trading above 31.16.75 out here. You can see you don't have coming off of the low in October 4th. That was that was formed with that Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. By the way, this most recent high was uh, created with the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top out there. That's a pattern that I teach folks. Just sign up, become a subscriber, and go to the archive section of your members page and and watch the uh, uh, watch the uh, watch the videos that are there. I think there's about four or five of them. But any event out here, you don't have to do that either. You can just watch 31.16.75. And there's a close below that. It's a it's highly suggestive of a change in trend signal that is underway. We haven't seen any close below those levels coming off that October 4th area out there. So we'll watch that. We'll watch that number. That's a number that you'll want to watch. Now, we can spend more time taking a look at the uh, uh, equity markets out here, and we will, but we've got several questions that have come in, and so I want to make sure that we get to uh, those. So let's begin. Alan wrote in earlier this morning, or yeah, it was earlier this morning. He wanted to take a look at ticker symbol S-I-N-A. So let's go take a look at our three time frames here for Alan. And Alan is long, and uh, his question is, do we do I think that this has made a, a bottom out here? So here's what we know, Alan, about Cena Corp. Uh, we know that price is trading with inside its daily profile. I uh, found resistance there a couple of days ago. That level was 35.67. It's a bullish structured profile. Uh, the buyers did what they were supposed to do, which was push price up to resistance. That took place, it looks like, on Wednesday. And um, that had level is held. So 35.67 is a key level that you want to see price close above. Now, profile-wise, for the weekly and the monthly time frame, price will blow the bottom of those boxes. So that's not that's, that's really not that uh, great for you. But let's go see, has this made a bottom? Now, if we take a look at the daily time frame chart, that's where we'll start. Here's what we see. The answer is this did form a buy the D point. You can see the A to B equals CD pattern out here. Um, I don't, uh, I'd have to pull the, the chart back further. I'm not going to call that a, um, a Gartley buy pattern, but you did get the the official bullish signal of the buy the D point, and that was with that bullish engulfing. I think you had mentioned a bullish engulfing candle. That occurred back here on November 22nd, and prices now run up into that resistance level of the top of that uh, profile out there. Uh, prices above Stevie's red line, there's no reason for you to get out. Um, you know, I see your entry price out here. I wouldn't get out. Just know that you're up at resistance. So the daily says, yeah, potential for a, a bottom. Now, when you get those types of A to B equals CD patterns, typically you'll get at least a 0.382 retracement. So if we take a look at that level out here, the 0.382 retracement, give me a moment just to go ahead and, and put that on the screen for you. That's going to be a retracement of that entire A to B equals CD pattern out here. And uh, that's up at about 3707, right where you had a gap to the downside from back on November the 14th out there. So you're up towards resistance. Um, with regard to the weekly time frame chart out here, Alan, do we see anything that uh, gives us a shot of a bottom? Look, price was moving lower, doing less relative energy, but it hasn't generated that bullish reversal candle out here. So hard for me to call this a bottom. It has the right pattern, just doesn't have the proper configuration. And if we go take a look at the uh, monthly time frame out here, you'll see that uh, it's in bar eight as we speak of a potential TD setup nine count. So this could have a couple months to go before it does uh, generate some type of bottom signal out here. Uh, but that's the best that I've got for you, Alan. So best of luck with that trade. I would just keep some stops in place. Uh, your average true range on a scene is a buck 46. So you can take a look at a buck 46 times either 1.272 or 1.618. Uh, you know, less uh, Friday's close, today's close to adjust your stop. So I hope that that uh, helps you out and uh, best of uh, luck there. Then the next question that came from uh, John in the Tiger's Den. And John wanted to take a look at Lightspeed crude out here and looking for some type of uh, bottoming uh, signal. So there's a couple of things, but I'm going to put this to the weekly time frame chart here for us to take a look at, John. And, you know, we can see the uh, the cone of silence out here. Now, when I say the cone of silence, we can see a descending trend line that's coming off of the high. This is a weekly chart. So I'm not using channel lines, just using a trend line. I'm using the highs and lows of uh, candles out here. And so I'm using the high of October the 1st. And then at this stage here, I'm using the high of September 16th. And then for the low, 
we're using the low of December 24th, and we can see that. The, and then the next uh, touch point that I'm using, John, is the low of August 5th. That's really done a good job of containing price. What is price doing right now? It's just really trading in between support and resistance. The top of its profile, which is 57.27 weekly basis, that is, and 52.32 to the downside. Now, I believe you've got uh, different patterns associated with these triangles that they use. I don't know if this is applicable. I, I, my recollection is you 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 created this uh, wave number four type of a pattern out here. And so you're, you say you're looking for some buy points. I don't know what your time frame is that you're looking for the whoops for those buy points. Uh, but if we come back here, let me just put the daily chart up on the screen. It's going to maintain those um, those trend lines out here. The daily time frame, there's a new profile, John, that is trying to form. And uh, again, this this has got Stevie's advanced Doppler tool out here. But we can notice that the new profile has formed above the price of light sweet crude. And this suggests lower price. So right now, this would suggest moving back to the bottom of that rising trend line in the 53 and change area. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the, uh, so the next request coming from um, who requested uh, this one? Coda wanted to take a look at uh, First Majestic uh, Silver uh, Corp out here. So that's the charts that you see on your screen. You've got the daily, weekly, and uh, monthly 
charts along with their profiles. We can see right now, Coda, the price is trading in between the bottom of its box at 1037, the top of its box at 1096. So you've got a little bit of a consolidation that is going on out here. When we take a look at the daily time frame, price uh, right now last week uh, closed above the top of that box on a weekly basis. So that's a positive, as well as uh, prices trading above the top of the uh, monthly profile. Now, the monthly profile, the question is, or that I would have, the monthly chart, I should say, is uh, did this form any kind of significant bottom as price was pushing lower? And the answer is um, nothing that I see, so to speak. Of the of the four or five different tools that I would use to help us identify a bottom doesn't mean that it hasn't, just that we don't see it. Now, the one thing on a monthly basis or long-term code that I'd be a little concerned with is uh, you can see that the oscillator and change line went ahead and changed from green to red. In essence, it uh, completed that by October. And usually what we see here, it doesn't, it doesn't tell me when, but we should see price and Stevie's green line catch up to each other. Now, it could be just by price moving sideways and the line moving higher, um, you know, a number of different um, of different uh, combinations out there, but something to be careful with. If I look at the weekly time frame chart, what's the weekly uh, show us? The weekly shows us what? It shows us the top. That certainly shows the road's momentum indicator top, shows price trading below Stevie's green line. So there's your resistance about 1094. Price is trading at 1085. Uh, right now, but you can kind of see a sideways ish move. It doesn't look bad, but you know, you've got to be, it does have that topping signal out here. Has this been just a counter trend rally? Um, let's go look at the daily chart out here and come back and see if there's any kind of pattern setup that we see. And other than the sideways action out here, there's nothing coded that I see. So 1097, the green line doesn't extend all the way across. I could make it extend all the way across, but earlier in that first segment, we were taking a look at the TD9 breakout levels. Well, here's your TD9 breakdown levels, 1097. So if in fact, um, first majestic, first majestic, if this has been just nothing more than a, in essence, a counter trend move, uh, then this 1097 is going to hold. Now, the current top of the daily box is 1096 out there. So you've got two in this area. Likewise, if, if price could close above that, that would be very bullish. And a key level of resistance, in this case here, now two levels of resistance will have failed. And that would suggest a, a move back to those highs uh, when we took a look at on the weekly and the monthly, well, at least the weekly chart, that Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. So, Coda, I hope that that uh, helps you out with regard to uh, First Majestic out there. Uh, we've got another request inside the den from Peak D. Wanted to take a look. I believe this is Clovis Oncology, CLVS, Clovis Oncology. So as we take a look at it, let's figure out what's going on there. Of course, I'm doing the, the little pause here. Oh, wrong chart. Uh, give me a second to pull this up. Uh, radio show chart. So one of the things that I've added here over, you know, I get a, a number of requests out there from folks that are trading, you know, some type of uh, instrument, uh, uh, some type of, usually it's an equity instrument, like First Majestic AG or or Cena or Clovis Oncology out here, CLVS. And sometimes folks are looking for signals to use from an intraday standpoint. You know how I've always said, hey, look, let's just stay with uh, with even, even, evenly timed bars out there. In other words, a 30-minute time frame divided by six and a half hours, that'd be 390 minutes. Well, you've got equal time weighted bars out there um, so it works the same so the equal weighted time ba time based bars the reasonable ones for a six and a half hour trading day would be a 15 minute a 30 minute a 65 minute 130 minute then you go to your daily weekly monthly so here are your td nine counts out there uh, for those specific um uh, time frames uh, what you're looking for is either a plus eight or nine, a black eight or nine, or a red eight or nine out there um, to help you to identify potential topping or bottoming signals. I also have for each of those instruments the uh, current uh, breakdown and uh, breakout support levels out there using our TD9s. And I've also got our oscillator and change line support and resistance uh, levels. And then I've got the last time that there was a daily uh, top that formed using the TD9 count. So in Cena, as an example, the stock next to it means that it's uh, it's still valid. That price is not taking out the high of that uh, trading session. And Clovis Oncology, well, that high out here, Coda, was it? No, was, uh, it was uh, Peak D. 
Um, so what's, you know, it's December 2nd, but what you and I know, we're going to go take a look at the daily chart, is that on November 30th for Clovis, it generated a valid, well, uh, yeah, it's a valid uh, TD set up uh, nine count. So Clovis on a daily basis, just by looking at that, we know that it's got a, it's got a topping pattern that we're going to want to pay attention to. Now, if we take a look at Clovis, it's had just one heck of a run out here. I believe that Brent might uh, be in this uh, as well. So I know Brent is listen i see he's, he's got a request for you natural gas we'll we'll take a look at that um but uh, look price above the daily the weekly the monthly set of profiles so from that standpoint everything looks good but we really do need to go take a look at clovis oncology and what we're going to see is on friday uh, um so here's so on Friday out here that was the day following bar number nine but I, I do see a higher high out there so my signals are going to be based on the end of day but the software that I'm I'm rewriting here um, for doing some back testing is you know how I have said look the high if if it's going to be a high TD nine count needs to occur on bars eight nine or the bar following nine I want to be able to test out all those those situations and see if e any of them provide us with a higher probability of top or bottom but also um, I'm writing the software so that I can test these levels to just say the high of that pattern either bars eight nine or the bar following nine can be a resistance level out there and so so right now price is trading below that and I won't know if that using that as a resistance level uh, increases the odds of, uh, of a, identifying a top or a bottom in this case here a uh, top would be in order uh, but uh, just I would just say a, a, a bit of being careful out here right now let me just see where we're at with regard to the wave count to the upside uh, wave well peak D Weren't you the one that asked about it? You happen to be in wave number four. It's been in wave number four for over a week now out there. So that certainly can extend with a higher high tomorrow. So the only topping signal I would be concerned with, uh, the only thing that I would be concerned with right now is that potential for that TD setup nine count. Let's assume that that isn't a top. It doesn't have to be. Uh, then if we take a look at the weekly time frame, what do we know? Well, on the weekly time frame, peak and uh, and uh, rent last week was a beautiful signal for you inside Clovis Oncology. The beauty of that symbol uh, signal was that price closed above 1353. 1353 was the weekly breakdown area. Now this suggests that there is a change in trend underway in uh, Clovis Oncology and that price should continue to move higher. Now on a weekly time frame chart, the next level of resistance is 2871. That's its it's a it's breakdown level prior to the last one at 1353. So the weekly chart looks pretty good, and they all look pretty good. Just saying, just a just simply a uh, caution signal, like a weatherman in New York, you'd you know, you'd carry an umbrella. Well, if you're in London, you're definitely carrying an umbrella out there. You're carrying something for every season. Uh, and then on the monthly chart out here, and that's really what that what that daily signal shows us. The monthly chart price above, really the uh, uh, monthly profile, and so that's bullish out here. But uh, everything looks pretty good just be careful and adjust your stops that's what i would suggest that you do for clovis oncology by the way the average true range over the last 10 days is a buck 59 we'll be right back if you're in the cd market and looking for a secure investment the tiger first mortgage program may work for you the security for these first mortgages are building lots in the tax opportunity zone in st petersburg florida the Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Still a number of questions in the queue, so let's get right to them. Brent writing in about UNG, and, and basically Brent's question is as follows. He's looking for some type of pattern completion, and right now he's looking at a potential for an A to B equals CD. Uh, geez, let me turn that tool on on this chart if I can here. I don't know why it's not on. Oh, I'll be a son of a gun. It's not on because it's not even there. But uh, if you give me just a second, I will add it. And then voila, we're there. Okay, so the A to B equals CD pattern that Brent is looking at, specifically for UNG. And, of course, we're going to go take a look at natural gas. Um, the A point out here on September the uh, 16th, I think that's what Brent is uh, using. Um, the B point around October the not 11th, not around, but on October the 11th. And then the uh, C point, the retracement up into a high on November 5th. So you're going to see that uh, what UNG itself has done is more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals well, CD. And the question is, if uh, if today were to be some type of bullish uh, candle out there, you know, would that be a buy? And uh, we'd say it could be. It could be. I would prefer to take a look at the underlying instrument, I mean, in the uh, January natural gas contract and see what it's doing. We don't have any kind of bullish reversal candle just yet. And depending on the body of the candle, the only candle that could form, Brent, would be a hammer. And it'd be touch and go whether because of the wick. Um, so if it did close up towards the high of the day or just slightly underneath it, that might qualify as a hammer. Just have to really take a look at that body of the uh, candle. So that's 17.95 on UNG out there. So it's got potential. Uh, with regard to counts, you were asking about daily counts and everything on the UNG out here. Uh, shoot, uh, what did I do? Uh, let me try to do this. Close this. There we go. Got this. Well, here, uh, and then I'll put the other chart back up. But uh, with regard to counts, you're just simply at bar number four. With regard to UNG, this did most recently form a TD9 count uh, top with bar number eight out there. Um, let me get the other charts back up on my uh, screen and uh, see if uh, my other application, here's my e-signal application, back up on the screen. And let's go take a look at, <clears throat> excuse me, the natural gas contract itself. And here, what we can see is, you know, here's here's an A to B equals CD pattern. This might be different than the one that we just looked at. Uh, let's go ahead and put this one back in. And uh, so there is a, there is most certainly the potential for an A to B equals CD pattern. Here, it's November 5th I'm using for my A point. Uh, again, this is a January contract. I'm using November 19th as my B point. As soon as it catches, there we go. My C point was the high on November 25th. So there's your one to one A to B equals CD. But again, no no bullish reversal candle as of yet. 
without a bullish reversal candle, this would say price could head on down into the uh, um, 217 area, uh, could even go lower. That'd be the one to 1 1.272. So I'm with you in that we should be looking for some to see if there's some type of bullish reversal candle out there. That would be the only pattern at this moment that uh, would identify some type of uh, bottom out there, just kind of like in uh, Cena. I think we took a look at that, how that had formed an A to B equals CD pattern. So, Brent, I hope that helps you out and uh, hope you had a, a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for writing in. LB writes in and LB wants to take a look at, let's see, SWN is the uh, ticker symbol. So let me just get that fired up on my other system. Let me get that on our three time frame charts out here. SWN, uh, just for blanks and giggles out here. Let me just punch in SWN on my market screener just to take a look at all those different time frames out here. When I say all those different 15, 30, 65, 130 daily, weekly and monthly to take a look at its uh, counts out there. So the ticker symbol S SWN is uh, Schweitzer Man Do It International. So you want just be giving you a take looking to buy as a way to play uh, a coming uh, back rally in natural gas. OK, um, so here's what we know about that. If we take a look for any type of uh, bottoming counts out there, the monthlies in bar seven bar eight or nine or the following the 65 minutes in bar seven out there. So, you know, something you could take a look at what's going on on the chart out there. LB uh, 65 minute, I would say, would be one that you might look at out here. If we take a look at well, that's interesting. So Southwest Energy, I don't know where this came up with Schweitzer Man Do It International, SWN, SWN. Oh, well, uh, let's see. The trade, yeah, it's got the right price. Buck 80 is what it's trading at. So right now, uh, LB, price is trading below the bottom of that bullish structure daily profile. And that is at uh, buck 82. And you're trading at a buck 80. So that's not a good scene out here. Uh, the weekly would then say price could pull back to test the bottom of that profile. That's a buck 68. But price is below the monthly profile, closed below it last month. So let me pull over my other daily time frame charts. Let's take a look at um, Southwestern Energy. No bottoming signal here. Uh, what's the volume like today? It, it should be light, I would think, just between the snowstorm and the holiday out here. Uh, volume today is uh, so far 10 million shares going against, well, what are we going to look at the half day on Friday, which was 12 million? How about just come all the way to November 21st of 21 million? So looks like lighter volume, but uh, LB, I'm not seeing any kind of a buy signal there and price has not totally tested the low of the swing and what should we really use for the low of the swing point you really almost have to use friday out there or we could come all the way back here into october 4th and that had 20 million shares as well you know so you're going to be light in the loafers but you're still trading inside there you'd if you're going to use a volume based method you'd like to see this test and reject a buck 71 get below buck 71 close back above it do it on light volume out there um, but and a buck 68 being the bottom of the weekly profile, I would think that that's where you would just kind of uh, sit and wait. Uh, if this is directly correlated to natural gas, well, then Lee, we just took a look at natural gas and UNG, and and neither of those, even if we looked at a short term time frame, short term time frame being 30 minutes out here, um, I just don't have any pattern per se. That uh, that that would help us out to to say and be able to call the bottom right now in natural gas. And that's using the 30 minute time frame out there. So I, I think the same thing. Time to time to be looking, but not time to be cooking, if you know what I mean. The last question so far out here. This would be good. Get this in here in the uh, next um, minute or so. Tim wants to take a look at MT. SI MTSI so let's get my uh, ducks in a row out here what is MT MTSI uh, what is it doing well it's trading inside its daily profile by what's Maycom Tech Solutions support should be 2298 Trade inside its weekly support should be 2269. Below there would be 2142, but it's above the uh, weekly out here. And you're just asking for where would we see an entry point into MTSI? Well, 2298 is one possibility. Let me look at the daily chart this way. Daily chart this way. <clears throat> if if 2298 fails, Tim, then 1888 would be the number. 
But right now, twenty-two ninety-eight would be something to consider. Let's look at the. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let me look at the uh, weekly chart out here. And what kind of, so we had a nice roads momentum indicator bottom way back in uh, May. I don't have real topping signal. I, I can see why you would look to perhaps buy this price this week. You're testing Stevie's green line on the weekly at 2343 out there. So there's your secondary buy point. Um, and on the monthly time frame chart, everything looks pretty good. So your buy entry it was either earlier this morning at 23 in essence 2345 or 2298 you don't want to see price close below 2298 zero tf great Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, uh, we've got a request to take a look at uh, coffee futures out here. I've got the March of 2020 uh, contract up on my screen, um, really paying attention to the, well, really the 60, the 240, the daily, the weekly profiles, prices above each of those levels. So in other words, prices trading above resistance. Uh, old resistance could become new support. That would really take us to the uh, four-hour time frame chart at 119.39 out there. If I look at my other time frame charts out here, just to get a field spin 
been a heck of a, a nice run here inside of uh, coffee to the upside. Price is starting to get stretched. Um, that doesn't mean, it just means to be careful. That's all that it means. As far as wave counts, let me get a feel for where we're at from a wave count uh, standpoint uh, for you on uh, this uh, move to the upside. Uh, you get, okay, so you've got, you've got really two reasons to be cautious and careful out here. In other words, here's what I would say. It's been a nice run, but uh, I most certainly, Bob, would uh, not uh, suggest that you enter a long uh, uh, trade inside of coffee right now, not with price moving higher, doing less relative energy, and also being potentially in wave number seven or letter G. Now, it may not be wave number seven or G. It may only be the third wave out there, but it's enough of a reason to be uh, cautious. Um, uh, now, price could uh, continue moving higher and negate. Uh, both of these patterns out here could negate the Rhodes momentum indicator top. You need to see some type of bearish reversal candle in that close below Stevie's green line of 116.43 in order to indicate some type of top and a pullback to levels of support out there. But if the question was, hey, is now the time? Uh, Steve would say, no, now is not the uh, time to be. Is it's, it's okay to be long. I just wouldn't enter a new trade into coffee as we speak right now. Well, folks, it's the end of that uh, time frame. Look, we didn't get a chance to get to it, but uh, watch the spot volatility index at day's end. Right now, the one-day rated chain is 12.04. This chart out here, if you look at the other blue arrows, when there's a one-day rate of change, you usually see some type of bounce or bottom in the overnight or early morning time frame, which you'd want to be looking for there is some type of roads momentum indicator bottom pattern on the 30 minute time frame chart and that means that we should then see if that's going to form we should see prices move lower again may not be during today's trading session maybe overnight but that's what i'd be looking for hey folks stay tuned your favorite polar bear dave white's up next and tom o'brien i'll see you tomorrow on terrific tuesday